Last winter in Northern Virginia, we had one of those snowstorms that only comes once every 10 years or so. It's beautiful for about a day, then we have to get out there and start shoveling. Here's what it looked like in front of our houses. And this was my patio, with four feet of snow blocking the back gate. When the sun came out between snowstorms, I went out to start shoveling. And when I was done, I wanted a nice hot cup of tea. Unfortunately, the snow frequently brings down a few trees, which bring down a few power lines, and I had no electricity. But I did have a parabolic solar cooker in my shed, and the sun was shining. In less than 20 minutes, I had boiled up a pot of water and poured myself a steaming cup of tea. That hot cup of tea really hit the spot before I had to get back to shoveling. As you can see, parabolic solar cookers work just fine in very cold weather, as long as the sun is shining. This guy's boiling up a pot of snow on Mount Everest to make some soup. We don't think much about where our energy comes from unless the power goes out in a storm, but there are hundreds of millions of families who still send out children or their mothers every day to gather wood so they'll have something to cook with. Much of our planet's remaining tropical forests, especially in Africa, South Asia, and in countries like Haiti, are being harvested to make charcoal, which people use daily for cooking. Did you know that it takes 10 kilos of wood to make one kilo of charcoal? How would you like to have to do this every time you wanted to make a cup of coffee in the morning? You can boil a pot of water with a parabolic solar cooker, but you can also iron great-grandma's old linen napkins. Once or twice a year, I get out my great-grandmother's 100-year-old linen tablecloth and 12 linen napkins and spend several hours ironing them for a big family meal. How could a parabolic solar cooker help me here? Well, if I were like the hundreds of millions of people who don't have access to electricity, I would have to use a charcoal-powered iron to get the wrinkles out of those old linen napkins. Come to think of it, just like great-grandma used to do. Except that a hundred years ago, there were a lot more forests and a lot fewer people who needed to chop down trees for fuel. There are still about three billion people in the world who don't have access to electricity. If they want to press a shirt, they'll fire up some charcoal, put it in a charcoal iron, and start ironing. That can get pretty expensive if you have to keep a charcoal fire burning all day long. I know of one smoke-free village in India where the people are using parabolic solar cookers to heat their irons. Earlier this summer, I put an old charcoal iron I've had around the house for a while on my parabolic cooker to see if this really worked. And yes, this is the same backyard where all that snow was piled up in February. The solar heated iron worked great. In 10 minutes, I was steaming those wrinkles out of great grandma's linen napkins like a pro. You can't see it very well, but I'm standing in the shade while I do my ironing. If I had a business like the laundry owners I saw in the video about the smoke-free village in India, I'd have two irons, one heating up while I'm using the other one, all heated with free sunshine. Think of all the charcoal, all the wood gathering, and all the smoke people could avoid if every family in parts of the world with no access to electricity or clean cooking fuel had a parabolic solar cooker to heat their water, cook their food, and iron their clothing. There are other types of solar cookers that can bake bread, roast meat, cook beans, pasteurize water, and sterilize medical instruments. There are parabolic solar cookers that are as lightweight and portable as an umbrella. Unfortunately, not many people know about these simple devices that only use the light of the sun. We take our electricity for granted while half the world is still waiting for their turn. Please share this video and others on my Solar Wind Mama YouTube channel with your friends and family. In the meantime, hooray for solar!